Hello, welcome to this Advanced Steel 2021 tutorial. In previous lesson, we have created two UPN 140 beam on elevation 4730. Today, we are gonna to add rest of these beams and bracing on grid 1. Now we are going to add the UPN 240 beam on elevation 4730 between grid B to grid C first. Now switch back to one view ports. Right click on elevation plus 4730 name and pick activate. The view screen will turn to plan view. In home tab, select double channel back to back tool. Hold down, control, and right click on the screen. Then select node, pick the intersection point between grid 1 and grid C for the start point of UPN beam. Do the same procedure to select the end point of the beam. In position tab, select offset and angle parameter. Now spit the screen into two view port. Now deactivate the elevation 4730. Use match prop tool to make the properties of the beam we have just created as the same with the beam we have created in previous lesson. Now the beam we just created which also have the gap 12 mm. Now right click on the beam and select advanced properties. On compound beam properties dialog box, change the section name to UPN 240 for beam index 1 and 2. Now we are gonna to create a bracing from top of column at grid 1, D to intersection point between grid C and elevation 4730. On object tab, select double channel back to back tool. Select top end of column at grid D for the start point and intersection between UPN 140 beam and column at grid C for the end point. Using match prop tool to copy the properties from UPN 140 beam to the bracing beam has just been inserted. Right click on the bracing beam to open the compound beam properties dialog box again. On compound beam properties dialog box, pick positioning tab and rotate the bracing beam 90 degree. Now we move to section tab.
we are going to change the bracing beam section from UPN 140 to UPN 160. Select UPN 160 for beam index 1, and beam index 2. We are going to mirror copy the bracing beam we have just inserted. Turn on the advanced steel tool palette. And move UCS to world coordinate system. We are going to move the UCS to the left 6200 corresponding to the center of the bag support. Advanced Steel Tool Palette, select Advanced Copy Tool. Select the bracing beam. On the Transform Elements dialog box, select Mirror. And then select the Mouse Point Cursor button. Now input 0, 0 for the first point of the mirror line. And pick whatever point on vertical line go through the original point 0, 0 for the second point of the mirror line. Now change two vertical views to one single view. We are going to insert a two cross bracing UPN 180 beams. Let's switch to left view. Remember the X, Y plan must be co-planar with the two bracing beams plan. On home tab, select the bracing tool. Select the lower end point of the column at grid C for the first point. And then select the intersection point between column at grid B and UNP beam at elevation 4730 for the second point. On structural element bracing dialog box, pick type and section tab. On Bracing Type field, select Cross Type. On Member Type field, if you choose Simple. We will have two single beams crossing each other.
if you choose double minored on the member type field. Then we will have two double beams mirrored each other. And finally, if you choose double flipped in the member type field, we will have two double beams crossing each other. Now we are going to change section size to UPN 180. Thank you so much for watching, and see you soon.